Yo, 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 what is up my peoples? Welcome to another video. So today I wanted to talk about an interesting topic and that is why is it that some pilots in FPV stand out from the rest? Is it because they have a unique style? Or is it purely down to skill? Or maybe something else? And how is it possible that you too can stand out from the crowd as well? I'm going to be talking about all that and more in today's video. So let's get into it. So if you're an FPV freestyle pilot, just like me, then you probably have a list of guys that you really look up to, pilots that inspire you. And if I put you on the spot right now and I asked you to name your top pilots that inspire you, I bet you could give me a list of maybe three or so names. So why is it that you picked those particular pilots? What is it about them that makes them stand out from the rest? What is that special thing? Now, before I answer that, let's first get into the skill involved with becoming a freestyle pilot. So flying FPV is heavily skill-based. In order to be a competent pilot, you need skill, and obviously it takes time to learn those skills. And being a freestyle pilot, there's plenty of tricks that are involved. Things like the matty flip, the trip spin, power loops, etc, etc. So to be an excellent freestyle pilot, do you need to learn all these tricks? No, of course you don't. There's plenty of pilots out there who don't do a lot of tricks, but they're still excellent because they've learned how to flow a spot with speed and precision. And of course, this is something that also takes plenty of skill. So having skills and being an excellent pilot is one thing, but in order to stand out, it takes, in my opinion anyway, more than just skill. And this is where creativity comes in. So it's easy for me to just say, be more creative when you fly, think outside the box, etc, etc. But what exactly is creativity in FPV? Is it that special thing that I spoke about earlier? Does it take skill to be creative? And is it something that we can learn to implement in our flying? So in order to understand further, I've picked out a few of my favorite pilots from recent years that I consider to have stood out and we're going to analyze their footage together and we're going to see if creativity has anything to do with it. So let's get into it with the first pilot and that is P Devex. So P Devex is probably one of the most recognized names in the freestyle scene and that's why I'm starting with him. I remember first seeing a P Devex video probably sometime in 2020 and being blown away by his trick combos. My first thought was how the hell did he do that? But then my second thought was, why did no one else think of that? He was constantly taking well-known tricks and combining them in ways that hadn't been seen before. And as a result, creating something original. And for me, that was very inspiring. And you can see plenty of pilots nowadays trying to emulate that same kind of PDEVX style and even take it to the next level. So yes, I would say creativity had a large thing to do with PDEVX's success because he was thinking originally to create new trick combos. But is that the only way to be creative? So in order to answer that, we're going to move on to pilot number two. And that is Lumpy FPV. So Lumpy rose to fame recently in the freestyle scene as that guy who does insane, epic, full send tricks backwards. Now, whereas PDEVX will flow a spot whilst throwing in constant different trick combos, Lumpy approaches his spot in different ways. And of course, he does occasionally do trick combos, but he will focus on one particular trick and he always does it with plenty of speed and full commitment. And of course, there's plenty of skill involved in hitting such tiny gaps. But is there any creativity? Now, in response to this, I will say that sometimes I get compared to Lumpy FPV. Oh my days, I cannot believe I just did that. And I get comments on my videos saying things like Lumpy style. And I personally think that this is a great mark of somebody who is an original pilot. The fact that you can categorize one pilot's style as a style in itself shows that he is a pioneer and indeed original. And original and originality being the key word here because that is one of the foundations of creativity. So I'm not saying he was the first person to ever send a drone backwards with speed through a gap, of course not. 
but his commitment to this style over time allowed him to create that signature lumpy style. Now, let's move on to the next pilot. And in my opinion, this video wouldn't be complete without Oplums. So plenty of you on my recent What Happened to Sabang video, please go check that one out, commented that I had forgotten one important pilot, Oplums. And no, I did not forget him and I left him out of the list on purpose because I don't consider him a Sabang pilot at all. Sometimes he implements some Sabang-esque moves, but in my opinion, he has crafted his own completely unique style and is definitely not a Sabang pilot. He is much more focused on interacting with objects in his environment and creating mind-bending tricks which almost seem impossible. I would say he's one of the most highly skilled pilots in freestyle, but he combines that skill with his next level of creativity and originality and for sure that's what makes him stand out. For example, look at moves such as his reverse slalom which it seems like everyone lately has been trying to master or his reverse corkscrew which is just truly original. As a result of his next level flying and originality and creativity I would say he's gained a somewhat cult-like following in FPV and he's really a huge inspiration to many pilots out there trying to emulate that Oplume style flow. So definitely Oplumes has used creativity and originality to stand out from the crowd. So now on to the last pilot on my list and this guy doesn't really do any tricks at all and I guess because of that some of you might say that he's not even really a freestyle pilot although I would consider him a freestyle pilot and he has gained huge popularity on the freestyle scene and the guy that I'm talking about is It's Ken FPV. So what is it about It's Ken that makes him stand out? He often flies in almost straight lines and doesn't do any new tricks so what is it about him that makes him stand out? Well, it's the speed, the proximity, the risk, and the execution. What he's doing in terms of technique is not new. However, the lines that he has created time and time again became his signature. No one was flying at quite the same speeds through multiple gaps, small gaps I might add, with such high risk and his dedication to those lines allowed him to create the It's Ken FPV style. And so, yet again, another pilot who stood out because he was doing things that others necessarily weren't. And this goes back to my point about creativity and originality. So what can we learn from all of these pilots with different styles? Well, I would say that they were all pioneers of their own styles of flying. And they may have taken inspiration from other pilots, but they took that inspiration and turned it into something unique to the point where you can watch another pilot's footage and say, oh, that's Old Plume style or that's PDEVX style. And at this point, maybe you're disappointed that I haven't mentioned any of the OG freestylers like Steel or Johnny FPV or Schizo or Sharpoo, for example. And those guys were incredible, and I believe it's because they were pioneers. The thing is, though, that we're not talking about the past. We're talking about the present. And in the present day, there are more skilled freestyle pilots than ever before. And it takes more than just skill to stand out. But it's not impossible. And so this begs the question, how can we be more creative? So creativity and originality doesn't just happen like that. Disappointed! It's something that I believe is a process and takes time through the forming of good habits. And so I have compiled a list of five things that I think could help you and me to unleash our creativity and will help us stand out from the crowd. Number one, use your environment. So creativity in freestyle doesn't necessarily equal more tricks. Look at It's Ken, for example. He doesn't do more tricks, and yet he is interacting with his environment in a unique and original way. So I wonder if you can relate to this. You go to a new spot. So I've just discovered a really cool bando, and amazingly, the security, he said he's gonna let me fly, so let's send it. First pack, you spend the whole pack exploring the whole spot, every single nook and cranny, all the corners, and then 
every single pack after that, you stick to one small part. You do the same tricks over and over again, and then when you watch back your footage, you look at your first pack and you compare that with the rest of your packs, and you think, why didn't I go back to that part? Or why didn't I fly over there more? All my footage looks the same. So I do this all the time, literally every session, I think. And I think it's because I get stuck in the mindset that I must complete a particular trick or combo and I look for an object within my environment that I can do that around. And so I'm trying to almost mold the environment to my particular style. Whereas maybe I would do better to try and mold my style more towards the environment that I'm flying in. So essentially, I am missing all of the creative opportunities that are afforded to me by my unique environment. So instead of thinking, oh look, I can Matty flip that, why not be more exploratory of my surroundings and try and adjust my flow to suit whatever is there in the spot? And I believe that this could potentially unlock new creative ways of flying and flowing that I hadn't previously thought about and would stop me from just doing the same damn thing every time I fly. And as an example, just look at PDEVX doing trippy spins, a trick usually done around an object on the corner of a building, or Old Plumes flying up a ladder dive, or Lumpy flipping through his car, or It's Ken hitting multiple tiny gaps over and over that other pilots wouldn't have even considered possible flying through, especially at those speeds. So they are all using the environment that they are flying in a unique and interesting way. Number two, don't be afraid to crash. So if you're too afraid to crash and you're never really pushing yourself, then honestly, you're not going to reach your full potential as a freestyle pilot. So you've got to just let go of that fear. Don't be afraid to crash because this will encourage you to try new things and you never know where that's going to lead. So, for example, next time you're out, why not try to hit a smaller gap or fly closer to the ground or even try flying backwards? You never know where it's going to lead, like I said. Remember, greater risk equals greater reward. Number three, take inspiration from others, but don't copy. So talking of trying new things, every other month or so, I notice new trends popping up in FPV freestyle, everyone trying to master the same tricks or combos, for example. And funnily enough, Old Plumes has inspired many of these trends with his trick tutorials. And so this kind of thing is fun following the trends and I do it too sometimes. It allows you to feel part of a community where everyone's kind of working towards the same goal and you can re relate to each other, you know, the struggles of trying to learn this new trick, for example. But on the flip side, it can create a lot of similar looking videos and honestly, it can be hard sometimes to tell different pilots apart. But like I said previously, creativity isn't something that just happens. I believe it's something that takes time to form. So if you are going to follow these trends, why not ask yourself, how can I take this trick or combo that I'm learning and turn it into something unique and original or something that's unique to me? And so this is why I say take inspiration from others, but don't copy. Stop copying me! Because you'll just end up looking the same as everyone else. Number four, stop focusing solely on the tricks. So for me, one of the great differences between a good freestyle pilot and a great freestyle pilot is not the tricks that they're doing. And in fact, I would say I would completely ignore the tricks and look at everything they're doing in between those tricks. Because I see a lot of people rushing from trick to trick, trying to cram as many tricks and combos in as possible, and they just neglect everything that happens in between. You know, they're sketchy all over the place. But I believe these moments in between tricks are the perfect moment to add your own creative flair or style or that extra bit of flavor. So for me personally, I love playing around with your axis and almost sliding around the spot. I love tricks, but freestyle is not only about tricks, and I thought, think a lot of people forget this. The key is in the name, it's free style, so you're free to implement any style or any flavor you want and interact the, with the environment in any which way you please, so why not make it original? Number five, find your niche. So what makes you, you? Wait a minute, who are you? When you watch back your footage, 
Do you see anything that makes you stand out from the crowd? Do you see anything that's slightly different or unique or original that can identify you as a pilot as opposed to any other pilot's footage? Jeez, Rick, oh my God, that's some pretty hardcore stuff. And I would encourage you to watch back your footage and try and find that thing. And once you find that thing, I would say work on that. So like I was saying before, for me personally, one thing I like adding is small touches here and there of yaw, and I combine that with speed and proximity. And so I think small additions like this to your flying can really work well to set yourself apart from the rest. At the end of the day, you want somebody to be able to watch your footage without seeing your name on screen and just instantly know it's you. I know you. You know you. And I know you know that I know you. So, after everything that I've spoken about today, what have we learned? Setting yourself apart from the rest takes both skill and creativity. But creativity isn't just born out of thin air. I'm sure that many of the pilots I spoke about in this video have plenty of pilots who inspired them. And I think inspiration is a really important factor in keeping you motivated and inspired to keep pushing yourself. But there's a difference, remember, between being inspired by something and then just plain copying it. So I would say focus on learning new tricks and pushing yourself to learn new things, but don't focus solely on the tricks. Find your niche and work out what makes you, you. Crafting your own style doesn't just happen overnight, so I would say have patience. It will probably come in time. So at the end of the day, of course, it takes plenty of skill. But skill without creativity is nothing. And when the two are combined, in my opinion, the possibilities are endless. And that's pretty much everything I have to say on today's video of how to stand out in FPV as a freestyle pilot. If you're interested in FPV merch like this, you can get it at fpvfreestylekings.com. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.